of the Augusta National Women's Amateur, but we are looking at cloudy skies over the Savannah River. You can see a very muddy Savannah River at that with all the torrential rainfall we've seen over the past few days. Temperatures not feeling too bad. Currently upper 60s here in town and we should stay in the 60s through this evening. But as we head into late tonight, we're going to bring in our next cold front. That's what's going to dry us out as it does push east of us and we're going to find a little bit cooler air behind that front. So waking up into the mid 40s, early tea times heading out to Champions Retreat tomorrow morning will be a little bit chilly out there. But later into the afternoon as we continue to warm up, should be able to see those highs hit at least the mid 60s and the wind could be a factor for uh, a little bit of the day, at least in the morning hours to where it will be a little bit breezy just on the backside of that front pushing through tonight. Here's a look at other high temperatures across the area tomorrow afternoon below average. Most of us are going to stay in the mid to upper 60s tomorrow afternoon, so definitely not as warm as what we've seen over the past several days. Here's a look at our wind speeds heading into tonight. So as this cold front just gradually moves east of us, we'll likely see a little bit of some breezy weather out there tonight with uh, winds anywhere from around 10 to 15. That'll stick around before lunchtime Wednesday. But as we head later into our Wednesday afternoon, should start to see those winds calm down some as they do uh, turn mainly out of the northeast. Then wind, not really much of a factor on Thursday. With calming winds though, Wednesday night and Thursday morning, we're going to see a cold start early Thursday, most likely waking up into the 30s for the first part of the day. So unfortunately, not really uh, done with wintertime just yet with those type temps. But high temperatures will start to gradually warm up each day. The rest of the week we will be hitting highs in the 80s by Friday and into Saturday before another cool down to those 70s by Sunday. This will be thanks to our next front. The front we've had over the region the past three days has just produced a torrential rainfall where you're seeing this red and even pink color in a few spots. That's average rain totals based off radar estimates anywhere from around six to eight inches. We have seen some pretty big impacts from that active weather the past three days, but luckily finally drying out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, no rain to the forecast. By Saturday, that is going to be our next cold front heading our way. So this is looking like it's going to bring us a pretty decent shot of at least some scattered showers, maybe some thunderstorms we have to worry about. Also pretty breezy throughout the day Saturday. The good news is this does move out of here south and east of the region as we head into Sunday and that drier weather Sunday should stick around at least through early next week before. Unfortunately, it does look to ramp up again kind of later into next week. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. Temperatures cooler than average on Wednesday, warming more seasonal by Thursday afternoon. And then we do have to keep a close eye on those storm risks heading our way Saturday. Riley, thanks a lot. It is egg hunting season. We're talking.